Matt Waverley. Thank you, Acting Speaker, and uh, I rise also to speak on the Energy Legislation Amendment, Energy Fairness Bill 2021, and what a pleasure it is to uh, follow the member of South Barwon, my, uh, my, my whip colleague, and uh, it, is, it is a privilege to assist him in his duties in this noble house. Um, I know, does it, does, I, I wonder if that helps, but anyway. Um, <laughs> That is true, that is true. We're all doing very well. Now, it's also uh, more important, I should say, that we are here to represent the people of Victoria, and obviously, in my case, the great people, God's own country in Mount Waverley. And uh, from Bayswater to Tarnead or St Albans to Oakley to, uh, to Broadmeadows, or to the good people in Narry Warren or even Lowen, we are here to help them in their in their day-to-day -day lives of keeping their energy prices fair and reasonable and hopefully lower and making it easier to work in the energy environment and the industry that we have with us. And pe other people have mentioned changes to that industry over the years, some good, some not so good. But um, I would also uh, just comment on the energy that uh, during this lockdown that my staff have been using while I've been working from home. And I'm just going to take the very short opportunity before I uh, go back to the bill, which is to say thank you to my staff. You're working very well. I really appreciate the work you do. And uh, I should go back to the uh, notes that uh, Lisa has prepared for me. So in 2018, we made a commitment to Victorians. We made many commitments to Victorians of which we are ticking off without any doubt and we are delivering. And I'll get back to that word delivering hopefully towards the end. But we promised that a re-elected Andrews Labor government would deliver the biggest regulatory shake-up of the energy sector in Victoria's history by providing stronger punishments for retailers who do the wrong thing and better protections for customers, while extending the power saving bonus to help more customers get a better deal on their energy bills. And a second shout out to, uh, to my staff on that, because the amount of people who we ha who they have helped on, on our behalf here um, get those power saving bonuses have made a real difference. And I know the Minister for Ageing and Caring there would be a w a well aware of the amount of seniors and and pensioners who have directly benefited from $250 power saving bonus. And so I, I encourage all of our members, and I know that I don't really need to because we're all doing this, but to make sure that that message gets out and everyone who's eligible can get that assistance for their day-to-day -day bills. So, and this bill's on our work to cut power bills for Victorians by installing solar panels, batteries or hot water systems on 770,000 houses across the state through our solar homes package. Now, Labor is supporting all 11 recommendations of our independent review of the electricity and gas retail markets in Victoria, which found that intervention was required to make our system fairer for customers and recommended a range of measures to help cut power prices. Wrongful disconnections by big energy companies are co consistently a major complaint, particularly for vulnerable Victorians. And that's why we're inducing, introducing tougher penalties to put retailers on notice. As part of Labor's energy fairness plan, we'll double civil penalty notices to 250,000 for retailers who undertake wrongful disconnections, making it the highest fine in the nation. So that really sets an example for those companies and for the other states to follow suit that uh, when you go in the wrong direction and it hurts people, there should be consequences. Now, we'll ban winbacks the so-called uh, short-term discounts that end up slugging customers more in the long run. We'll also put an end to retailers' door-to-door -door sales and cold-calling telemarketers harassing Victorian families. And there is one thing that at my office has received a number of complaints over the years, many complaints about either door-to-door -door, uh, salesmen or the uh, cold-call phone calls about people who are uh, trying to um, tell you something which most people don't want and, uh, and 
I, they call us and we, uh, I noticed in the reason amendment the member from Sandringham put forward, he talks about stickers and I think the member for Burwood uh, highlighted uh, some of the, uh, the sticker policies that uh, seemed a little strange. But we do have the do not knock stickers in my office and I'm sure a lot of other members do and if, uh, if there's anyone out there who does want one, please come and, come and give us a call and we can get them out to you. I don't think we need to put that in legislation. Uh, it's available, there's plenty of options there. Now, right now energy retailers are able to back bill up to nine months when they have undercharged their customers. Labor will reduce this to four months. Now, the point of that is obviously so that customers aren't forced to pay huge sums simply because the retailer has mucked up and took a while to realise their mistakes. Um, under Labor, criminal, criminal penalties for energy retailers who mislead or deceive the Essential Service Commission uh, or systematically and wrongfully disconnect households will increase to $1 million. Labor's energy fairness plan will also provide the ESC with clearer investigatory powers, as well as new powers to monitor and report on the competitiveness and efficiency of the Victorian retail energy market. Labor will appoint a fourth essential services commissioner, an energy cop on the beat, whose focus will be on prosecuting misbehaving energy retailers who've had it too easy for too long. We have already been helping Victorians save money on their energy bills by extending our $50 power saving bonus, which ended in June 30, 2019. And since the introduction uh, of the scheme in July 2018, more than 220,000 Victorians claimed that $50 bonus by using the Energy Compare website to find a better deal on their power bills. On average, Victorians who use uh, independent comparison website will save about $330 or more on their bills in the first year alone, with seven out of 10 finding a better deal by switching retail offers. Now, one thing uh, uh, John from my office was saying the other day is he is, in the last few years, he is, you, John is an excellent electorate officer and uh, I couldn't do most of this without him. But if uh, he has spent the last couple of years and every 12 months or so he goes back to Energy Compare. And he's told me in the last three years, he has done that, he has saved money every year. So it's a bit of a reminder for us all, if you haven't run the Energy Compare website in the last six or 12 months or so, you're probably worth having a look because there's better deals out there. Um, now, in 2021, we introduced the $250 power saving bonus for pensioner concession card holders and some healthcare card holders, including uh, job seeker, youth allowance, or study, and app study recipients to assist with paying their energy bills. And we, uh, we in the office uh, send out um, birthday cards to our seniors, as a lot of, I know, us members on all sides of the spectrum uh, do. And in, uh, in, in those birthday cards for 65 and overs, we've been putting mention of the power saving bonus just so make, make sure people are aware of it. And I tell you, there's, there's, uh, it, it's a very nice day when you get a call from a 90 year old who's lived in, lived in the Waverley area for you know 57 years and they say, oh look, thank you very much for the card, that was very nice, mate. And you go, oh well that's you know, least I could do. And they say, and the $250 best present I got. And you think, well, okay, it's not exactly a present, so you know, correct that. But the fact that the fact that that was so useful to that person, um, you know, for people who are pensioners and their their income is basically fixed, and you know, the, let's face it, increases over the years for pensions haven't been what you would actually call, uh, you know, generous. So having that two hundred fifty dollars makes a huge difference on that yearly income for those people. And uh, to know that we're a government who understands this, who understands how much we can help by sometimes a relatively small amount of money, that's a good thing. And it does make a big difference, Member for Oakley. You're absolutely right. And it's, it's the little things that this government does, like the $250 power saving bonus for people. It's the little things that I think just show our values time and time again. If there's a little way we can help, we'll help. And so I think on that note, uh, obviously this is a very good bill. 
The Reason Amendment, I think uh, the member of St Anne said it delivers. I don't see how you can deliver by actually saying we're not going to do anything, but maybe that's the way they work on that side. Here, we just deliver. Thank you.